Hiya. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah from the Crafters Collective and this is a why to video. So not a how to video because you'll get all of the how to steps in your little kit. But this is why you should make a handkerchief for a power holder. So the first why that you might be thinking is why should I be giving a gift to someone that I disagree with that I think is doing something harmful in the world? Well, you should do it because of that exact question. So as activists, we often think that these people are doing awful things, so we need to shout at them, scream at them, tell them to change their ways. But they're still human. They're not anything but human and as humans, one, we don't like being told what to do and when we get aggressive actions from people, we often feel really defensive or we go on the attack of. So we don't think about what people are actually saying. We don't open up our hearts and minds to say, oh, you might have a point. We just think, oh, why is this person screaming at me or judging me or being really negative? Which is why a gift can be a really good way to start building a relationship with someone. So you're saying, with your hanky, which is why number two, why are you giving them a handkerchief? Well, you're not giving them a bunch of flowers saying, hello, lovely to meet you, you're great, but you're doing some of these things wrong. It's a bit strange, it's a bit jolting with like a normal gift. You're given a hanky because a hanky is a really good metaphor to encourage them not to blow it see what I did there but to use their power and influence for good and I came up with the hanky idea because my local MP I was sending her lots of petitions that I really cared about whether it was online petitions about inequality or petition cards about local issues around homelessness or whether it was big global issues around climate change I deeply cared about these issues and I was sending their petitions and their office contacted me to tell me to stop contacting them. They said it was a waste of their time to reply to all these petitions and it was a waste of my time and it was a waste of charity's money and I immediately wanted to scream and be like hang on a minute you're my local MP you're supposed to represent me or at least pretend to listen to what I'm saying but I tried to empathise with my local MP and think, okay, maybe she thinks I don't really care because it's so quick and easy to do these petitions. And although for me, they all fit under an umbrella of inequality and injustice, they could look like I just cared about lots of different issues. So maybe I didn't care about any of them and I was flip flopping around. At the same time, I had a pack of hankies from a lovely old lady, but I have a hanky that I use, so I didn't need them, and I thought I could give them to a charity shop. But while I was still worried about how to engage my MP, I thought, hankies, blow your nose, don't blow it. Maybe I could give her a gift to show that I really care about these issues, that I don't just want to scream at her, and that actually, even though we have different political ideologies and might be part of different political parties, I would like to work with her where I think we can be of help and where we've got common causes. So the third why is why am I asking you to write quite a long message on your handkerchief and not just don't blow it to then hand it over. Well, the first thing is, as soon as your power holder that you're going to give your gift to sees this long message, one, they have to read it. So it's very conversational. So it's saying, you know, dear that person in your role as whether they're a teacher or a policeman or a local politician, says, I'm asking you to use your powerful position to challenge injustice, support vulnerable people and strive to be the best change that you can be in the world. It says yours in hope at the end and some other parts of the message which will all be in your kits. So everything you need and the message is really important so you can tweak and change certain parts but there's a lovely useful template here. So it's not too long, it will fit on your hanky but it's long enough that it shows that you care and you want a conversation in a respectful way with that power holder but also it shows commitment because it does take hours to make your hanky which is why it's in a nice transportable envelope so you can make it at different times and you're doing a simple back stitch which does take a long time so the long message is important don't rush it don't cut corners because as soon as you do it lessens your impact 
the fourth why is why should I give this hanky gift to a local person so in the kit it will say you could give it to a local teacher who you think isn't using their role in the potential that they could to really inspire and educate young people they've got a lot of power and influence there and you want to encourage them to do a better job you don't want to demonize them but you want to encourage them and you want to focus on people that you think could do a better role not someone who's already doing a brilliant role might be a policeman like I said might be a local journalist that you think is fueling some xenophobia or fear or might be creating alternative facts that you want to challenge and I'm asking you to focus on them and not a prime minister or a president or a big CEO CEO of a company because these are the people that I think realistically you can actually hand deliver your hanky to so your local politician has to meet you if you ask so I handed my handkerchief over to my local politician and immediately I handed it over with humility and with kindness and said and a little bit embarrassed and said I'm Made you this because I want to show you that I care and that I do want to work with you and understand where why you voted in a particular way that I disagreed with because maybe I'll change my mind maybe I don't realize all of the ins and outs and you want your gift to build a relationship so it's really about being a catalyst and to be a good critical friend rather than an aggressive enemy that just throws it at them so it's unlikely that you know a president or prime minister. If you do, brilliant, and try and meet them regularly with your hanky and remind them. So you give them your hanky and then you remind them of, how's my hanky doing? It's me again. How's it all going? But try and pick someone that's local that you can realistically target. And again, there'll be some links in the description of this video to another example of who I've made a hanky for, which is board members of a big company. And that will explain more of the how as well. But that's why you should really focus on someone local and the final why is why should you do backstitch so I've hinted before that it does take a long time to stitch but also what's really good with backstitch is because it's very repetitive it means that once your hands know what to do so while you're stitching this your brain sort of often wanders off because it doesn't need to think because your hands can think on their own so that's why in your kit Backstitch is really good because one of the really vital things in your kit, and if anyone's come to one of my workshops, they will know that I always make sure the instructions are folded in a particular way where the craft of thought questions are like this, so that while you're stitching, you can see them. So the first question in your three questions, and they're different for every kit, um, for the different issues. The first question says, what challenges do you think the person you're sending your hanky to might face daily? So again, using that time to think about, okay, why are they doing harmful actions? Do they realize they're doing it? Have they got lots of pressure from above to put profit before people? Have they just got no time to think about other things? Or maybe they don't realize they could do something differently. So you really wanna do backstitch so you can put all your thought and energy into your craft of thought questions and think deeply and critically and make your hanky as effective as possible. So when you hand deliver it, you've thought through every possible idea so you can engage with them in a really respectful way but as a critical friend not as an aggressive enemy so there are my five whys on why you should make one of our hankies with our kit that includes everything you need it's super ethical you can buy them on our shop if you have any comments and questions put them in the comments below and when you make your hanky do share your progress and your final hanky with us online and any of your craft of thoughts so that we can have more discussions online as well as offline i hope that helps bye